Yo, what's going on? Welcome to the video. Man, do I have a lot of things to show you guys today and a lot of theories I want to talk about. Since my last video, which was only four days ago, we have already got more new information on Hancho Chocolatier, and I'm going to run through all of it with you guys today. So, the first thing I wanted to talk about was we got some new screenshots. Right here, we have this screenshot. The screenshot right here already shows a ton. The first thing is we get to see some more of the environment in the land and it's very interesting. We can see that there's part of the land that is bright and looks colorful and looks really nice. And then around that is a bunch of dead trees and dark colors and really just ugly stuff that you don't want to see. So my first question was why is it that there is nice thriving land? but then surrounding it we have lots of darkness and dead trees and all the ugly stuff. So my first theory is that the land has some sort of corruption and it slowly corrupts and kills everything. This screenshot reminds me a lot of when the corruption spreads on the huge game Terraria, which I'm assuming most of us have played or seen. Is there some sort of evil or corrupt presence that makes these hostile mobs spawn? And if so, is that evil presence taking the land over and destroying it? Now I'm sure you've seen the fire figure on the screen, to me, that is what looks like a mob that is made of fire. The reason I think it's a hostile mob is because of the environment and the screenshot and the player fighting the crows, but it could be an NPC. Now for the last thing I noticed, it took me a little bit to see it, but if you look closely at the crow on the right of the screenshot, there's what looks like another mob. I see what looks like an eye in the middle of the dark sphere figure, but I could just be making things up in my head. But let me know what you guys think about this. All in all, I really like this screenshot. It shows a little bit more of the environment. It shows some more mobs, what look like mobs in my opinion. And I really like how it is super nice land, but then at the same time, there's a little bit of chaos there and you have to look out for and be a little more cautious. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this, so let me know in the comment section. So that was the first screenshot. That's a brand new screenshot. Now the next screenshot I have we saw part of it in the early gameplay footage, but this screenshot revealed a little bit more So I want to take a little bit more time looking at this The first thing I notice is to me at least what looks like a palm tree right by the stairs It looks like some small palm tree and a planter if it is a palm tree Does that mean there is a desert biome in my last video? I talked about the bar we saw and thought it would be cool if you could play the table games against other NPCs. Here we see what looks like another poker table. Again, I think it would be super cool if you were able to play against NPCs and even add in some sort of money wagers involving that. So for the very last thing on this screenshot, if you take a look above the fireplace, we see an outline of a rifle. Does this mean we will be able to use a rifle at some point or is it simply just decoration? And if we can use a rifle, is there any other different types of guns like handguns, pistols, etc.? And would you like to see guns added in this game? So the next screenshot we have was not in the trailer, and this is showcasing a new house. I'm saving the best screenshot for last, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what that is. This is the new screenshot. First, it looks like there is a child, and the person at the table looks like a grandma or grandpa. But one thing I want to focus on really here was we see that little bush guy at the bottom left. Last time he was trying to kill us and we had to attack him, but this time it looks like it's their pet. We can see the little grass it has and then the water and food bowl next to that, which is super cool. In Stardew Valley, we had the dog and the cat, and here it looks like we have a rather exotic pet. And I really like this because it's a lot different from just a dog or a cat. Uh, like I just said, it's a, a rather exotic pet. And so to see something like that come in that's not normal and that's out of this world, our real world, it's super cool to see and I'm super happy that we get to see this implemented into the game. So the next screenshot we've already seen, but it's Burke's room. I miss a lot of stuff and a lot of detail that I want to go over now. I don't know why I'm just now seeing all of the different weapons in his room. We can see four different swords and then some kind of better shield. I also noticed a huge barrel in the back of the room. It looks like it's filled with some armor. To me, it looks like a medieval knight's helmet with a plume on top of it. The long sword by the furnace looks super cool and I also love how there are different sizes of swords. And if that is some medieval armor, you already know it's going to look so cool. So we got another new screenshot and this is the bakery. Concerned Ape blessed us with this. I love the ovens in the background and display of all the good baking bread and the treats and so simple yet very nice. I also love the light hitting the floors from the window. It's just so much detail. Now the next screenshot in my opinion is the biggest screenshot we've gotten so far and this has to be the recipes. Take a look at the recipe book here. We have the chocolate bar. It takes 10 seconds to make. The value is 10 coins and heals 10 HP. Then right next to it we have the simple truffle which takes 15 chocolate, one milk, and five nectar. I believe it takes 11 minutes and 30 seconds to make and is valued at 50 per truffle. 
Then if you eat it, it fortifies your health for 8 hours. Now I'm guessing most of this will change, especially considering one chocolate bar will fill up half of your health, but I love the fact that we are going to have a book that says what each chocolate item is worth and what it does. It is also very simple and straight to the point, but moving on from that, if you look right above the chocolate bar page, you see a cactus in a pot, which also makes me believe even more that there will be a desert area. So very cool stuff, lots of cool screenshots, but one more thing we have is a little gif that Concerned Ape blessed us with once again. And this time we get to see another mob, and this time it is a bee. You can see he uses the shield there to stun it, and then swings at it a couple times, and, it, and then it dies. Super cool stuff, I love the environment again, and we get to see another mob, so it's a win-win for us. So Concerned Ape already has a website up for Haunted Chocolatier, but he also has an FAQ. So I took some of the questions he answered and thought I would share them with you guys just in case you haven't seen them. So for the first question I have, does it take place in the world of Stardew Valley? And he says, I'm not ready to reveal anything like that just yet. So in my opinion, this means it's connected. It tells me it's connected in some way, and I sure hope so, because this game already does look great. And expanding the Stardew Valley universe sounds so cool. And to me, it's just such a cool idea. And they're both unique games. And I think Haunted Chocolatier is even more unique. So I think it'll help Stardew Valley too. So for the next question we have here, when does it come out? I can't commit to a release date yet, it's still relatively early in development and I, want to, and I want to be able to work in peace without pressure of a release date or even an estimated release date. So no release date and it looks like we won't be getting that anytime soon and that's okay. As we know Stardew Valley took a long time for him to make and the wait was definitely worth it. So again that's okay that there's no set release date, as long as he takes his time we can be assured that he'll make a good game just like with Stardew Valley. That segues right to the next question, how long has it been in development? I started working on this game a little over one year ago in 2020, since then I've been working on it mostly in evenings and on the weekends because I'm still actively working on Stardew Valley related things. It's actually not the first or only new project I've been working on but it's the one that I believe I will finish first. So considering how long it took for Stardew Valley to be ready, it looks like we are going to have to wait a bit. And again, that's okay. As long as the game is good and as good as Stardew Valley was, then I'm willing to wait. But notice the huge comment where he said it's not his only project he's working on. So already we know we're going to get another game after this. So the future's looking super bright for us and it's just so crazy to see, honestly. So the next one is something that kind of upsets me and makes me really sad. Is it multiplayer? No, it's currently just single player. I have no current plans to make it multiplayer. Now, he says current, but I really hope this game is multiplayer. Stardew is so much more fun with friends, and this game seems like it could be even more fun with friends considering the more RPG style to it. You and your friends gear up and go destroy the mobs and enemies around the map. While in Stardew, there is not much of that unless you're in the caves. But either way, I still play Stardew single player and enjoy it just as much, so I'm sure I will enjoy this game as much also. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and maybe hit that sub button. I got a lot of feedback from the last video, so thanks to everyone for that. And if you have more feedback, throw it down in the comments. I really do appreciate it. And I want to work on making my videos as good as possible. I stream on Twitch a couple of days a week, so if you like to see that, link will be in the description. And until next time.